It's Tuesday, January 18th, 2011. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday Morning Live. I'm John. And I'm David. We've been busy gathering some great stories to share with you, so let's get started. Wouldn't it be nice if you could sail, sail through the sky across the country in minutes with your very own jet? Well, last month, Honda announced that they've had their first test flight for their new low-cost private jet. You'll be able to enjoy the ride with up to six guests. The cost for your own jet plane? About $4.5 million. You won't, have to have, you won't have to hire a private jet anymore because it's your own. The jet flies about over 400 miles per hour at a maximum altitude of 43,000 feet. Honda jets are already in demand as about 100 orders have been placed and should be delivered in the third quarter of 2012. This jet also includes satellite weather, digital audio, and synthetic vision. Everyone is really excited about the new 3D TVs, but are they really that great? Some argue that the 3D experience alone sh should be enough to buy a TV. Despite the many d downsides, the major downside is the glasses. The, heavy gl the glasses are heavy and make the screen darker. The 3D effect isn't that different from the 2D, and there are not many 3D channels either. Another downside is that people who are not wearing the glasses don't even get the full 2D effect because the picture looks distorted. There may also be a vision concern for younger children. The starting price for these TVs are around $1,700 and can go as high as six, th six to 7000 So before you buy a 3D TV, think, is it really worth it? Let's go to Jackson for the Tuesday Morning Live editorial. The seventh grade has not been given an adequate amount of recess time. On average, by the time we get outside to the playground after lining up in the lunchroom, we get about eight minutes. That's enough time to pick teams for basketball and play a five-minute game. Wonderful. Studies show students who have more recess do better on tests and are able to focus better during the class after releasing all their energy. Harvard researchers found that a dose of nature worked as well as a dose of medication to improve concentration. Overall, recess is an essential to students during the school day. I'm Jackson, and that's my take. Private spaceflight has launched into reality. In 2004, the first private space shuttle flew two flights in a five-day period. Since then, several new companies have formed to compete in this new space race. These activities have been encouraged and inspired by a series of competitions sponsored by both NASA and the XPRIZE Foundation. The first flights were the result of XPRIZE offering of $10 million. In another competition, NASA offered $2 million to the first privately funded group to invent a craft capable of carrying passengers to the moon. As more of, comp of the competitions are starting started the greater chance there seems to be that private and commercial space companies could soon overtake government agencies in the final frontier. In fact, NASA is even banking their livelihood on it. Soon, instead of having their own space fleet, NASA hopes to send their astronauts on a spacecraft owned by private companies, almost like an interplanetary commuter bus. On New Year's Eve around midnight in Arkansas, an entire flock of red-winged blackbirds fell from the sky and were found dead. At the same time, about 100 miles away, a school of fish also died. Even bees are dying. About 96% of, of four different bee species have died on the same day. It wasn't until five, five and a half days later, when, the, when more red-winged blackbirds fell, from, fell dead from the sky, but this time they died in Los Angeles. There are many rumors on what happened that night. Some say 2012 was one year early, but the most popular reason was that all the animals died of shock from fireworks and more, most experts agree that it was caused by shock, but not all of them agree it was just fireworks. Experts do agree that they were not poisoned or shot. Flick International, Summit School's food service company, for the past two years has made many promises that have been not fully fulfilled. It all, it all started at the beginning of last year when we were pleasantly surprised with a fully loaded cafeteria. This one actually had ovens. However, there are some downsides. If you look at the weekly menu under daily offerings, it says that, that quote, a full deli station featuring hot paninis, unquote, 
We do not have we do have cold cut ball, but never have we had hop nini ball. We at we at TML will continue to monitor this story. Let's go to David for the sports report. Brett Favre, the longtime NFL quarterback, has gone from bad to worse. First, he failed to pass his concussion test, which resulted in him breaking his 297-game starting streak, the longest in the NFL. Then he decided to retire for the third time in his 20-year career. But his troubles didn't end there. Favre also got sued for alleged indiscretions with a Jets employee. Stay tuned for the next saga from Favre. That's sports. Now back to me for more news. Okay. In Bang in Bangkok, Thailand, a restaurant was opened that is completely operated by robots. The customers order their food on a touch screen and the robots get to work. The robots bring the drinks and meals. In between serving customers, they dance to music. The restaurant has been very successful so far. The Winston-Salem Journal is really struggling right now. They have had to change their format twice in the past year. The paper has had to fire some of their writers and other employees and double up on jobs in order to cut their costs. They have had to do this because m most people in Winston-Salem, like most people in the U.S., are starting to get their newspapers online and from TV. Lately, some South Korean schools are in trouble with finding new English teachers, so they did the most logical thing they could think of. They bought $45 million, $45 million worth of robotic teachers. Already, the change from human to robot teachers has created quite a stir, and, and it remains to be seen how this will work out. 2010 was a great year for inventions. Here are the top three from Time Magazine. At number one is the Seed Cathedral, which is a building made up of 60,000 light funneling fiber optics. Number two is Spray-On Fabric, which, like the name suggests, is a fabric that comes in a spray can. It is made out of liquefied fibers that bond and solidify into cloth as soon as they come out of the can. Three is the Amtrak's beef-powered train, which is run on biodiesel made from cattle fat, since it is better for the environment. Screaming Eagle Radio has been entertaining students and teachers at the beginning of the day, broadcasting from 7.55 till 8.10 in the morning. The students play music, read news, tell what's on the lunch menu, and events of the day at Summit. Recently, they have added a new segment, Artists of the Week. Students play a song every day of the week by a unique artist. The first artist of the week was jazz, saxophonist John Coltrane. They pick a new genre of music every week. If anyone is interested in being a part of the show, they can contact Mr. Heitman in the TV studio. And now for some strange new news. Neil Caldwell's colored bacon is reality, not just internet hoax. The bacon, seen here, is colored before cooking by soaking it in colored liquid. It retains the color throughout the cooking process. Surprisingly, the bacon is 100% edible. Unfortunately, Neil won't reveal how to make his special bacon. Let's go to Joseph for, the we for this week's weather outlook. Thanks, David. Now, I'm your neighborhood talking head, so I've got the weather for this week. Highs will be in the upper 40s with lows in the upper 20s. We won't see much precipitation at all this week with mostly sunny and a few clouds. And that's all for the weather. Bye, folks. That will do it for this edition of Tuesday Morning Live. For all of us here, I'm David. Have a great week. See you soon. That will do it for this edition of Tuesday Morning Live. For all of us here, I'm Andrew. Have a great week. <laughs> <laughs>